It's me, GOTC, getting off the couch and exploring with Albie. So today I've come to Bible Covered Bridge, a little neat little bridge in the East commu um, Tennessee community. Here's a little bit about the bridge. The Bible is a very popular name around here. Apparently this was a family that settled here hundreds of years ago. There are churches, there are roads, and obviously bridges named after them. So this is the Bible covered bridge. I love that little creek that flows through. It's it's quite relaxing. Can't have a bridge without water flowing underneath, can you? So I came here a few years ago when I first moved to the area. I took photos. I never took a video. But I always thought this was a neat little cool thing. I'm not really sure what that thing's for. So this is the other side of the sign. Take a look at this before I actually go through the bridge. This is going to be a very short video because this bridge is not that big. It's really small. But it's preserved history. So let me read this real quick. In 1783, the Christian Bible family settled in this area on a land grant from North Carolina, constructing a two-story log house nearby. Oh, I would love to see that house. I'll probably do some research and find out where the house is and to see if it still stands or if the current occupant um, will allow exploration. But anyways, it goes on to say, in 1923, East A Bible, a direct descendant of the early settler who had been crossing Little Chucky Creek at a ford had the bridge built so he would have better access to the Warrensburg Road. Warrensburg Road, that's the road that flows through here, giving access to this little area. It goes on to say, it was constructed by A.A. A. McLean, a notified Tennessee bridge builder, or excuse me, a noted Tennessee bridge builder of that day who placed covers on the bridge to preserve the timbers. In 1948, the bridge was deeded to Greene County, and in 1975, it became a historic structure through the efforts of the Greene County Heritage Trust. Restoration of the bridge was completed in 2004 by the Greene County Highway Department with a grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation. So let's go, guys. Let's take a closer look at the bridge. So this is probably a popular hangout at night for kids. So with everything in history, you have those people who like to leave their mark, who like to graffiti ties things. Now, this is my second time exploring this bridge. First time, I did not do a video, I just did photos. There's all sorts of things on here. So, there might be even some racial slurs and epithets, or epithets as well. Um, it is what it is. I myself am a person of color and I don't really care about those things. I see them, they go through my eyes and just discarded after that. So my feelings aren't necessarily hurt when I see stupid stuff like that. And actually that might have been one right there. Looks like someone came and they whited it or um, took some paint, which is the right thing to do and marked over it so you couldn't see it, which is awesome. Kudos to that person. So that's more of the creek that flows through here. I think it's pretty neat. At the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and put some photos of when I previously came to explore it as well. The person with me at the time, he'll be in that photo. You might see him in 
a few of my other videos that I'm going to do. So that's pretty much the Bible bridge right here. There's a lot of cool things here in Tennessee to see. A lot of cool things. Um, not just in Tennessee, but in different states, also in Florida. So those of you who are new to my channel, um, I plan to put a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, I'm going to go back and re-explore some places that I explored, um, that I took photos of, that I didn't video, and I'm gonna video them and add some photos too to my videos to make them a little bit more interesting um, with some narrations. So that's a um, project in the making. So I'm working on some other videos as well of different places to explore, abandoned places, Navy ships, um, quite a few things that I wanna put on my channel that I'm working on. As soon as I get that done and my videos edited, I'll post those segments to my video channel so go ahead like and subscribe so you can be updated when i add more content to the channel i look forward to it and i hope you look forward to it too as well again the name of my channel get off getting off or get on the couch and explore with alby now some of you might be adventurers who like to explore for those of you who are adventurers and like to explore, get off the couch and go explore. And you're welcome to share some things that you found um, as well. I also, I am starting a group on Facebook for explorers to post some content of some good, cool areas that you might've found that you might've explored. Or there might be some areas that you think would be cool to explore that you wanna tell me about. So I'll put that up later on, on my videos, um, as I post them. Um, so get off the couch, go explore. Just be mindful of no trespassing. Be careful of your surroundings. And most importantly, stay safe. Until next time, peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated on newer content as it's posted.